Hey guys, it's me Courtney and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get this monochromatic peachy corally type of look. I ended up using the Nude Sticks Magnetic Lip Plush Paint in the color, what is this, Fiji? Oh, there it is. Fresh Fiji. It comes in like this little canister, which I just think is beautiful. The one thing I do want to mention, it does sheer out, obviously. Um, I did wish it was a little bit more pigmented, but I'm not mad at the look that I created. I'm not mad at how it feels and how it performs, that sort of thing. So if you are interested in how to get this look, then please continue to watch. Starting with my brows today, I'm using my pencil to fill them in. I always like to create my shape underneath the brow first and then I'll fill in as I go. For this look, I'm going for a more natural brow and I feel like pencils are a great look for that. Next, I'm taking my NARS Soft Matte Concealer and I'm gonna clean up the edges of my brows. I'm also gonna use that as my lid primer as well. So I'm smoothing that out with my Beauty Blender. I'm gonna lightly set my lids with powder. In hindsight, I would've used a little more powder when I set it. I just didn't realize how emollient the pigment was gonna be, but either way, it'll still work. Next, I'm gonna take the plush paint and place that on the lid going into the crease and buff that all over the lid and crease area. Adding product if needed for a little bit more saturation. Then I'm gonna take my ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in Snake Bite and pat that on the center of my lid with my finger. And I'm moving it into the center crease as well. I'm gonna take my brush and blend those two colors together. I want it to look like a seamless, natural color transition. Using a black liquid liner, this one is from Beauty Bakery, I'm gonna create a slim wing. add hoodie lashes from Huda. I've actually gotten in the habit of adding my lash glue directly above my lash line. It's easier for me sometimes, but I don't recommend it if you're new to lashes. But I'll lay them in the middle and then adjust it on either side. And then slide it further into place with my fingers. Moving on to the face, I'm using my Milani Screen Queen Foundation in the color Warm Almond. I actually have a review of this foundation on my channel if you're interested. Now I'm using that same NARS concealer pot to conceal my under eye baggage. This concealer is pretty creamy and full coverage, but it feels super lightweight on the skin. Now I'm also gonna add that to my usual highlighting areas, above the lip, on the chin, down my nose, anywhere I want a little more brightness. Then I'm gonna blend it in with my beauty sponge. After blending in the concealer, I'm using my Huda setting powder and lightly setting my under eye where I typically crease the most first. Then I'm going to smooth out the rest of the under eye as well. And then I'll usually use whatever powder is left on the sponge to set the rest of the concealer I put down. Going back into the plush paint, I'm going to dab a little on the back of my hand and tap a thin fluffy brush onto it and I'm gonna buff that onto my lower lash line, wiping off any excess I may have. I'm going back into that shimmer shadow as well, and I'm gonna add that to the center of my lower lash line, sort of mimicking the top. I'm gonna take a black eye pencil and add that to my waterline. And since my eyes are pretty much finished, I'm gonna go ahead and contour with my Fenty Matte Sticks in Truffle. Now mind you, this is more of a neutral tone contour, so there's a balance of warm and cool in it. My skin tone doesn't really respond to strictly cool tone contours, so I tend to live for that balance I get from the neutral ones. For my nose contour, I'm tapping my concealer brush on the actual matte stick, wiping off the excess, and I'm gonna buff under the tip of my nose for a lift, and then down the sides of my bridge, following my natural nose curve and shape. And then across my nose tip to create like a little button nose. Next, I'm going in with a glowy bronzer from Hourglass and bronzing up the face. I'm gonna take my airbrush powder from Charlotte Tilbury and just pat that where I want a little bit more brightening and smoothing. 
gonna take that plush paint on the back of my hand and I'm gonna take the butt of my beauty blender and sort of tap that in there and add that to the highest point of my cheek, moving toward the apples at an angle. At this point, I'm gonna set my brows. I like to do this a little later in the routine just in case I need to touch them up from any fading that may have happened when I put on like the whole face. For highlighter, I'm gonna use that same shimmer eyeshadow from before and pat that on with my finger. To blend and mesh it all together, I'm gonna take my Micro Smooth Powder from Sephora and lightly buff that all over the face. Not only does this melt it all together, but it'll nullify any harsh lines or oversaturated color. And to set everything, I'm going to use the Dewy Set from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm gonna go ahead and add mascara. And I'm also gonna add a little bit of that shadow to my inner corner. For lips, I'm taking the plush paint to the center and buffing it in. I want more of like a popsicle lip first. Then I'm gonna take my wet cherry gloss and run that around the outer edge of my lips. does it for me hopefully this video was fun and inspiring if so please give me a thumbs up be sure to like comment and subscribe share the video if the mood suits you and I will see you guys in the next one